In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the rivets out of a Mac, MacBook Air mid-2011 computer. When you're replacing the keyboard and you pull off the keyboard, it leaves rivets in it. And this is a method to pull those rivets out uh, once you've removed the keyboard and they're left into the case. This is the tool that we're going to use. It's a Crescent brand miniature wire cutter and plier set that I bought at Home Depot. And what makes this un unique is that it has a set of very fine, low profile pliers that really are function as cutters to be able to reach down and grab the rivets and pull them out. Okay. I'm going to use these pair of scissors here, or these uh, cutters, to get in here and pull each one of these out. Okay, you can see that. Out. It's very small, but you can see it, and it's not easy. There was one. Okay, the secret is to get down here, get a very good grip on it, and pry up. Use the leverage so that it doesn't slip off. that there we go I'm starting to get good at this now another one There we go. As you can see, you have to be very, very careful not to let the pliers slip off. Because once you round that edge, it makes it very difficult to get out. There's another one. Okay. And you'll just Continue this process until you get them all out. Okay, I've finished taking all the rivets out and a couple things that I learned. Uh, the first thing is you want to be very careful about putting this down flat onto the case. And when you do, squeeze very firmly. And the secret is to bite the cutting surface into the bottom and once you've gotten it good and bitten into the rivet then use this as a fo use this as a focal point to pry up so grab it towards the tip and then pry up so the rivet breaks free if you're able to get a good bite on 100% of the time I was able to get the rivet out it's when I got it a little bit up and it was not quite sitting flush with the case that it slipped off the edge and uh, took away some of the metal and made it more difficult so I was able to get all of them out but about maybe four or five are still left in there but I did smooth those off even with the case and I'm going to, going to go ahead and put the keyboard uh, back on the back into the case and see how this thing works